genre, myth. The Golden Flower. A Taino Myth from Puerto Rico. By Nina Jaffe, illustrated by Enrique O. Sanchez. In the beginning of the world, there was no water anywhere on earth. There was only a tall mountain that stood alone on a wide desert plain. There were no green plants. There were no flowers. All the people lived on top of this mountain. One day, a child went walking on the dry land below the mountain. As he bent down over the ground looking for food, something floated by on the wind. He reached out and caught it in his hand. It was a seed, a small brown seed. He put the seed into his pouch. The next day, he went walking and again found something as it floated by on the wind. It was another seed. Day by day, he gathered these seeds until his pouch was full. It could not hold any more. And the child said to himself, I will plant these seeds at the top of our mountain. He planted the seeds and waited. One morning, a tiny green leaf appeared. The child watched. From under the ground, a forest began to grow, high on top of the mountain. All the people came to see. It was a forest of many colored flowers, a magic garden of green leaves and thick branches. The child was happy. In the middle of the forest, at the foot of the tallest tree, there grew a vine that wrapped itself around the tree. And from that vine, there grew a flower more beautiful than all the rest, a bright flower with golden petals. And from that flower, Something new appeared in the forest. It looked like a little ball. Look, cried the child. Something is growing out of the flower. As the people gathered around to watch, the ball grew larger and larger until it became a great yellow globe that shone like the sun. Even as they walked on the dry land far below, people could see it shining on top of the mountain. One woman said, if you put your ear next to the ball, you can hear strange noises coming from inside. The people listened. Strange sounds and murmuring could be heard, but nobody knew what was hidden inside. The people were afraid. After that, they all stayed away. Even the child stayed away. One day, a man walking on the desert plain saw the golden ball. He said, if that shining ball were mine, I would have the power of the sun. I could light up the sky or make darkness fall. And he ran toward it, climbing up the rocky mountainside. On the other side of the mountain, another man saw the shining globe. And he also said, I want that thing for myself. It will give me great powers. He too began to run. Each one climbed quickly. Each one found a footpath that led to the tree. They both ran without stopping until they reached the shining globe at the same time.
but what they found was not really a ball. It was the fruit of the golden flower, a calabaza, a pumpkin. The two men began to fight and argue. It is mine, said one. No, it is mine, said the other. Each man grabbed the pumpkin. They pushed and pulled. They pulled and tugged until finally the vine broke. The pumpkin began to roll down the mountain faster and faster until it crashed into a sharp rock and burst apart. Whoosh! Waves of water poured out of the pumpkin. The water bubbled and foamed. The waves began to cover the earth, flooding the desert plain, rising higher and higher. For it was the sea that had been hidden inside the pumpkin. Out came the creatures, whales, dolphins, crabs, and sunfish. All the people ran to the top of the mountain to hide in the forest of green leaves. Will the whole earth be covered? They cried. Higher and higher, the waters kept rising up the sides of the mountain. But when the water reached the edge of the magic forest, the little boy had planted, it stopped. The people peeked out from behind the leaves. And what did they see? Small streams running through the trees, a beach of golden sand, and the wide open ocean sparkling all around them. Now the people could drink from the cool streams and splash in the rippling waves. Now they could gather fish from the flowing tides and plant their crops. The child laughed and sang as the sun shone down and breezes blew through the green leaves and rustled the many colored flowers. Water had come to the earth. And that is how the Taino say, between the sun and the sparkling blue sea, their island home, Boricuen, came to be. About the author and illustrator. Nina Jaffe loved reading ancient myths and folk tales as a child. She started retelling them to her friends. She liked retelling old stories so much that she still does today as an author. Nina has traveled to Puerto Rico and many other places around the world to study storytelling. Enrique O. Sanchez grew up in the Dominican Republic, not far from Puerto Rico. He moved to the United States and started making art. He painted signs and scenery for plays. He even made art for television shows. Now he is a painter and an illustrator of picture books. Author's Purpose As Nina retells the myth, she imagines what the ancient people might say. Why do you think she includes dialogue, the words people in the story say? <laughs> 